We are here to win the games. Even they're a real good team, but we have two players here, they already scored in the World Cup. Last, season, last year with Julian and Johnson, we expect two wins the next two games. So it's a high standard, but as a coach, you always want to win the games, and as a player, you have to think it's the same way. Okay, guys? I was playing with the 20s a lot, so we got a couple guys from there. So I've known a lot of these guys for a while, but we've got a lot of new guys when we go to foreign places because we're just always together. That's huge for, for games, obviously. If you could develop those personal relationships, it can be really helpful for on the field as well. It's been a great experience so far. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I think it's important that we're all as tight as a group. I think knowing that the guy next to you is willing to work for you if you make a mistake or you're just not having a good day. I think when you have those relationships off the field, it definitely can benefit you on it. So I think this group's a really tight group. I think everybody gets along really well, so I don't think we have any issues. Obviously, Brazil's a really top opponent, so they make it really difficult to play. The first half was tough, and then sort of in the second half, we kind of found ourselves a little bit more. We were able to keep the ball. At the end, we had two chances with Maki and with John to tie the game, but overall, I mean, Brazil deserved to win because they were the better team. I told the, the players I expect the performance from us where every single one is fighting for each other. That's what we did. That's the, that was our chance. And then I think defensively, most of the time, we did a good job. But of course, I mean, you're not able to deny every chance from Brazil because they have too much quality. I mean, there are four or five players already playing on Champions League level. They're just so technical. Every guy wants to play. Every guy, every guy can play on the ball. They can hit long passes, short passes. They're all really skilled. So they just present a lot of uh, different challenges with each guy. They like to create overloads and that sort of thing. But once we sort of calmed down on the ball, they weren't super organized offensively, and we could find uh, some holes in them. At the end, it's always disappointing to lose a game. Could have been with a little bit of luck a uh, tie, but. So I think it's, it's, it's a, it was a good experience for every, every player of our team to see what's going on at the highest level in this age group. Obviously it was a fast pace, they were pressing really high and I think going to the next game we know a little bit more about them and what we're up against I think and we have a little bit more time to prepare. It was such an experience, I mean just looking at the passion of the fans coming out to U23 game here in Brazil. It's a passion and it's nice to get to know other cultures of soccer and experience them. I think it makes you value the sport more. I look forward to every trip that I can come away with these guys. I think it's an amazing opportunity for us to be in countries like Brazil.
South American style is very similar all around the continent. And for us to you know, come and play Brazil, it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve for us. As a young group, we still have a lot to learn. But you know, games like this are only going to help us and prepare us for that, you know, those two games versus Colombia. And those two games versus Colombia will be two of the biggest games in our careers. It's only something that we can look forward to and we can learn from.